So, Hell Let Loose. It's finally here after so many months of development. I've been excitedly awaiting the closed alpha to be released and here we are, on the battlefields of Normandy at last. If you're not already familiar, Hell Let Loose is a realistic World War II shooter made by the guys over at Black Matter that sprung up on Kickstarter last year. To say the least, I've been really looking forward to playing it, and initial impressions are very, very good. Now before we go any further, I would like to mention this is in its closed alpha stage, so things like textures, animations and sounds are placeholder. So before you pick up your pitchforks and torches, this is not the final representation of the game. That, and for a bit of fun, I've added some sound effects in while editing for your enjoyment. So let's talk about the game. What am I enjoying so far? Well, one, it is exactly what it says on the tin. It is an immersive World War II realistic shooter for the next generation of gaming. Now, there are a few rough edges, I will admit, and I'll go into those in a little bit later, but this is a closed alpha. You cannot expect a complete game. And to be fair, for a closed alpha, it is incredibly polished. I was so surprised loading up into the game that I didn't feel like I was in a buggy mess. I didn't feel like this was an absolute, you know, just bare bones experience. It is fleshed out already, which gives a lot of hope for the future of the game's development. So how does it play? Well, as you would expect from a realistic shooter, it plays exactly like one. It's a mix between a squad armor experience that has a nice balance of realism and simplicity. For example, there's no HUD unless you want there to be. To enable HUD, all you have to do is press T and it will flash up there for a little bit and then you can put it back down again so that the UI is as clean as it can be. Something else that this game really does well is represents the European battlefields in World War II really, really well. Not many games are able to replicate the look of the European mud around Normandy and the way that the hedgerows just go on for miles. It's like a maze. And Hell at Loose has managed to capture that perfectly. I mean, some games have come close. Yes, sure, but this is probably the most accurate representation of the World War II combat area within D-Day and around that time period to date. Okay, so what would I like to see changed? First up is the machine gunner class. At the moment, you can only aim down the sight while laying down. Now, this might be more realistic, but for a gameplay perspective, it's frustrating. Because Normandy is so flat geographically, it's quite hard for machine gunners to get an elevated position while laying down to suppress the enemy. So I would at least like to see the aim down sight option available for when you're crouched. Next thing is the German grenades. There's currently an animation where you have to twist the top off to be able to set the fuse on the grenade. However, when you're currently scrolling through your kit on the German side, it gets caught in the animation, which can lead to death sometimes because of you not being able to switch to your weapon. To sort this, I would suggest having that animation there for when you actually throw the grenade. Finally, and it's a little bit nitpicky, it's to do with the graphics. Currently, I believe that Hell Let Loose is using TAA as its anti-analyzing option. Now, it does make the game look nice and smooth, and there's no sharp edges, but what it does is it blurs a lot of the textures, which just sometimes takes away from the appreciation of how much effort's gone into this game. I'd like to see FXAA in the future, as well as some other options. Aside that, Hell Let Loose is shaping up to be a phenomenal World War II shooter, and I'll be sure to be bringing you some squad-based gameplay in the future. Anyway guys, take care. I'll catch you next time.